Hey, what's up guys? This is Bryce. This is Christopher Smith. We're going to show you how to install a CB radio into your vehicle. For this install, we're going to be using a Cobra 19 that I've previously had installed in this vehicle, as well as a Wilson 1000 that I just picked up recently. But the Cobra 19 is nice and small and compact. It'll fit in this vehicle really great, It'll take up a very small amount of space. The Wilson 1000 is basically the best magnet mount antenna on the market currently. As I mentioned before, I have already installed this in my vehicle before. I have chosen this location to install it, although you can essentially install it anywhere you want. If you wanted to, you can install it all the way up on top of your dash, down low, over to the side. You can install it anywhere you want. However, for my application, this takes up the least amount of space and was the best option. Might have to do that. Okay. Now that the box is installed, let's install the mic. It would be great if it would plug in. So there's a couple different trains of thought when wiring these. There's some kits where you can wire it directly into your cigarette lighter. You can also wire it into your accessory so when you turn your key, it automatically turns on. However, none of those are the correct way to do it. The reason for this is, your power wire can receive random signals such as engine noise and it will get to your CB and send strange frequencies and you will not be able to hear things properly and it can also damage your radio. So the correct way to do this is wire it directly to your battery and have nothing in between. Just directly to your battery with a little inline fuse that's included with your CB radio. Alright, so you want to make sure you run these wires completely out of the way of anything in your engine that it can get caught on. So what we're going to do is we're going to route it along the firewall next to the main engine harness all the way over to the battery. You may have noticed that we're using red wires for power and ground. Don't do that. Use red for power and black for ground. Do as we say, not as we do. Magnet mount style antennas need to be mounted on something metal. It cannot be aluminum. And it also needs to be mounted in the center of your roof or if you mount it on your trunk, in the center of your trunk. Now we can attach the coax cable to the radio. As for the coax cable, you need to route it as straight as possible with as few coils and bunching up as possible, as this will cause your SWR readings to go through the roof and cause really poor radio performance and possible radio damage. Alright guys, so what we're doing right now, we're going to go over to a little dirt lot here by my house, get a away from power lines and trees and houses get some better range out of this CB. The best part about this setup is this is only, this is less than a hundred dollars and you can have an incredibly performing CB radio setup as long as we don't hit that car in front of me. Hey, where are you going, Jack? Hey, what's good out there? How are you doing? Hey, man. Alright, right, guys, so, uh, Part of the reason that this setup works so incredibly well is mostly due to the Wilson 1000. This antenna, essentially out of the box, all you have to do is insert the whip into the base and it works. One to one SWR across all 40 channels. There's absolutely no adjusting that needs to be done and it just plain and simple works. If you wanted an even better setup, you could step up to a Cobra 29 which gives you a lot more features and ultimately a better experience with your CB. However, this setup is very cheap and it works extremely well for any purpose, whether you're on the highway or you're off-roading. Okay, I'll see if I can get if I can get anybody to respond. Hey, can I get a radio check, please? Radio check. Radio check. Am I coming in clear? Yeah, you're sort of right for where you're at. 